everyone and welcome to another redstone video with Cass on the Mesoma channel. Recently, while building in survival, I just realized that I don't really have any good designs that could work uh, when your floor is made out of uh, half blocks. So I designed this door specifically for the case uh, where you have uh, some place where your floor is made out of slabs and <laughs> your door would not usually look that good so yeah regular piston doors so I designed this one specifically uh, to to fit those situations yeah uh, the the project was pretty cool uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the the little intro and the beginning of the video and uh, if you guys really liked it uh, it's time for us to do a tutorial on it. As always, let's start with the piston layout. So uh, we have this four by, by three um, frame here with slabs at the bottom and three stick pistons on each side and a triple piston extender here. So all of those are sticky pistons as well. Now from the bottom, uh, you count two blocks and place a regular piston down here and from here also you can place a sticky piston and a regular piston facing up like this now on this side uh, we're gonna wanna have two more blocks here and those are for the door also those two blocks are for the door and right here we want a sticky piston and down here sticky piston and regular piston facing this way so from here counts one two three blocks another sticky piston then sticky piston and regular piston and you can clear that space and this is the entire piston layout two blocks from this side is where our input is going to be so start by placing torches here like so so three torches and uh, um, this is going to connect to this piston using a one take repeater and down here uh, using a repeater on two ticks so yeah we can place a torch first so it will not speed out the block and uh, now a sticky piston going up connected to this torch here from below and uh, cauldron with water and this is going to uh, grab a signal from this furnace up here so make sure to place one item inside it, can be any item. Now comparator and another sticky piston going down. So this is the current setup. And then here another comparator. Uh, finally here, down we need a sort of ABBA gate. I'm just going to place this furnace here temporarily so it will not speed out the block. And finally, here we grab a signal from this torch and go to a repeater on four ticks and this should be able to slide your blocks here so let's test it exactly like this and if we flip the lever again the pistons are going to get stored there the sides are pretty easy to power so place a torch here and then another torch here then dust here and uh, yeah we can fix this like so and for the other side just place dust here repeater on two ticks so both sides are going to get uh, synchronized then uh, redstone torch let me grab one here <laughs> and uh, then uh, yeah <laughs> uh, torch and uh, dust and all that jazz. The bottom was the most complicated part uh, but before we do that uh, we should place a few immovable blocks <laughs> to make sure that this thing's gonna work. First one on top of this piston then another one here and uh, another one here so those three are all you need. So here now you can extend it with a redstone dust then here we're gonna need a redstone block just send a pulse to this guy here so place it one in two ticks and here also 
another repeater on three ticks and this is all we need for the bottom. The top is pretty simple. Let's just grab a signal using uh, slabs here. So dust and then a repeater on two ticks and a solid block here. And this door should be closing already. So let's test it. Yeah, we don't want that music playing. So we better play some solid block here on top or something. I forgot to mention something. Uh, you need a regular piston here to update uh, this guy here. Otherwise, uh, this is not going to retract this piston. Now for the triple extender. So solid block on top of the torch, then repeater on four ticks. Monostable here to get a one tick pulse. And then it goes into this dust and starts the triple extension. Uh, also here we need two ticks going down here and uh, well we should block this off so place a solid block here oh. and then repeater on one tick down here and this is going to be your door frame. Uh, on the other side we need a repeater on three ticks here and those should be solid blocks now then one and two ticks and they are gonna grab a signal from the same monostable. Also here we need a slab, so this will not create a burnout circuit. Two ticks here, torch, then dropper, hopper, and then a comparator here. Uh, just place any item inside the hopper dropper, monostable. And finally, here we need a torch and a sticky piston then it's going to be connected to this redstone block and this should be your entire triple piston extender so let's test it seems like it's working let's keep our door closed for the last part of this tutorial and start by adding one repeater on two ticks and this is going to power this sticky piston facing down please <laughs> And then this is going to power this guy. This is not going to be a problem since our door is closed. And now another redstone block here. And in between we want a torch going underneath here. And we also want to connect uh, those guys up using another repeater on two ticks. Finally here uh, we don't want this guy to sound. And then repeater on three ticks. But I just learned that uh, this is not going to work in this direction. So I had to add a last minute fix. So if, it, if this is not working for you, just add a solid block here, followed by a slab here and two more solids. Then repeater on four ticks, just place two repeaters on four ticks, then redstone dust like so. And then this project is done. So yeah, let's try it out. Let's flip the lever. Yeah, the door is going to be slightly faster uh, because of this uh, addition here and it will change the animation slightly when opening, but the closing will remain the same. That's it guys, uh, this is our door working, we can cover those with slabs and cover the frame of the door and add uh, whatever kind of decoration we want. So uh, this was it for today guys, thank you very much for watching once again and see you next time, bye bye.